Hey friends, in this video, we're gonna draw some simple daisies in a glass vase on top of black construction paper. So grab your oil pastels and let's get to work. You'll notice that my black construction paper is quite small. I've framed my final product. You might start with a really big piece and you have a choice here. You can draw your small vase of flowers on your big sheet of construction paper or you can fold it in half this way, okay? And then just cut it so you have two pieces. Maybe you wanna try two different kinds of flowers. And that's pretty much it. Let's get to work. When you draw a still life, an arrangement of objects such as a vase of flowers, it's useful to have that object right in front of you. Now, I don't have a vase of daisies in front of me, so I'm going to use this photograph so I have something to look at. It's important that artists use their powers of observation to strengthen their skills. So, let's get started. I'm gonna go with the vase first. Now, my picture might look different than this photograph, and that's okay. I'm the artist, I have a voice, I have a choice, and that means I can change things to make them be how I want them to be. That's right, I have that power, yes I do. We're gonna start with oil pastels, but if you're a little nervous about going straight for the pastel for the vase, grab a pencil and you can do the eraser tracer trick. That means you're gonna start with the tip of your eraser to draw the shape of the vase. Now this is gonna be kind of a, I want an oval-ish shape, it's just easiest for me, so that's what I'm gonna work with. You do what feels best for you. Now I'm gonna make a tall, narrow U shape with my eraser, and let's see how this comes out. Notice I'm practicing the movements first, and here we go. Hold down your paper as you go. And there you have it, pretty good. Let's, is it perfect? No, am I perfect? Absolutely not. And it's kind of hard to see, but watch. If I turn it, I can see my marks. It doesn't matter if your neighbor can see your marks, it only matters if you can. Now, if you don't like it, all you have to do is scoot those eraser marks away and you can make brand new ones. And that way you don't have to worry about actually erasing with the tip of your pencil and all that jazz. So do what feels comfortable for you. Grab that white oil pastel and trace that vase. Now notice here at the bottom, it's not quite even. Is that a problem? It is not. A good artist doesn't make mistakes, but a great artist knows how to fix them. And I don't think this is a mistake. I think it's an opportunity to add some detail to the bottom of my vase. So I'm gonna thicken up this side. And this works pretty well, because I'm going to smudge. This part of the project, we get to smudge because we want our vase to be see-through. So I'm gonna add some echo lines that are really soft. An echo line is just, I'm just repeating the line that I just made right next to it. So look at barely touching, and I'm gonna take my finger and smudge, 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 all the way up to the top and bottom. Now I still have some of my eraser lines on there, so I wanna use my breath to push them away. Notice when I swiped it with my hand, I created more smudges where maybe I didn't want them. Be mindful when you're working with oil pastels. If you smudge them with your fingers, you're gonna get schmear. So if you want the fuzzies to go away, use a gentle flick or your breath, just like that. Let's add another echo line on this side. Now remember, this is just a really gentle, smooth line here, okay? Get rid of that pastel for a moment. Smudge, smudge, smudge. There you go. And of course, I'm gonna darken up the edge. Maybe I wanna add just a little bottom line here. This is gonna be an arch that's very gentle. It'll give my vase a look that it has a bottom where the flower um, stems can sit. See that? And I too am gonna smudge that. I don't want it looking perfect. There we go. I think I want more reflection. So I'm gonna very gently, I call these feather lines. 
light as a feather. I'm touching light, light, light. All the way up. And then, of course, smudge, smudge, smudge. It gives the illusion that this glass vase is really see-through on this black construction paper. Pretty cool, huh? <sighs> yes. Now, this pastel is very smudgy. I broke my other brand of this one, so that's why I'm using this one here. Just in case we had any curious friends. Alrighty. Who's ready for some daisies? Me. Fabulous. Let's start with the inside of the daisy. It's gonna be, we're gonna start with circles. Now, I'm just gonna do a few here. Again, I'm using my photo for inspiration. I don't have to copy it. Inspiration, not copying. And you can choose to do either one. If you wanna copy what you see, awesome. If you wanna take inspiration and go your own way, also awesome. Alrighty, let's start with a small circle. Just like that. Now we're gonna take our pastel and make the petals. These are, we're gonna start small. I'm gonna start at the top. Looks like an upside down U or a really skinny U over here. It looks like a right side up U. Look at that. Very, very, very skinny and small. Could be an incomplete oval as well. Now, instead of going sideways, I'm gonna turn my page. It's gonna look like a little helicopter or a plus sign, something. See that? Pretty good. And now I have room for two more petals inside each of those spaces. So I'm gonna do one, two, one, two. It's okay if they're different. One, two. If you wanna draw a little complete oval, that's cool beans, see that? Really skinny mini. And then you can take your yellow again and go back in, make that center a little brighter. How about that? Pretty good. Let's add another one. I want one right here. Ooh, yes. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Top, bottom, side to side, and then fill in two in the middle, or two in between, I should say. And if you're comfortable, and it's okay if these look scratchy, if you're comfortable doing it any way you want, you do you, you know, these are your daisies. I think up here, I think we could add one up here, what do you think? Mm-hmm, I think so. Small circle for the middle, top, bottom, Side to side. Now I'm moving my body here. I didn't move the page. So again, do what feels comfortable. If your petals look more scratchy, awesome. It's just a different texture. Okay. Good, good. I like to add a little more yellow at the end. Maybe even a few yellow highlights in the petals. Why not? Look at that. Ooh, I think that's a good idea. I'm going to do that on these ones too. Mm-hmm optional. Now I want to add one more daisy, but instead of the daisy facing me, I'm going to have it facing sideways and then we'll add our stems because I know you must be wondering what are these daisies floating in space here? We're going to add the stems later. Here we go. And for a sideways daisy, now this is optional, you're going to make half a circle instead of a full circle. So think of a half moon draw horizontal line and a half circle up top like that. Looks like the letter D upside down. There you go. And now you're going to put one petal on this side, one petal on that side, and just go around the whole thing. It looks like half a sun, doesn't it? But it's a lovely daisy. Awesome sauce. That's right. I think some of these could be a little bigger. There we go. Mm-hmm. Who's ready for a stem or two? Fabulous. Alrighty. Let's start with that sideways stem just because we're right here. I'm gonna open up this little green a little bit. I'm gonna start with my light green and I'll add some dark green as I go. So have it ready. When you're doing the sideways flower, we wanna add the letter V underneath it. See, V. 
See that there? And then just go ahead and color it in. It can be scratchy. In fact, scratchy is nice. And then what I'm gonna do is just make my stem go into this flower and out the other side. It almost looks like this stem is from that flower. So we can go ahead and add another one here. Whoop. How about we add one here? Crossover and one more. Oh, I keep hulking out on these oil pastels. Be gentle, young friends. There we go. Luckily, I don't need this for too much longer, but I still have more pastel. It's not ruined, just a little shorter and even shorter. <laughs> it's all good. Now, before I add my dark, I want to add a few leaves. This, I feel like we could do some leaves here. So add a little horizontal line out, curve up, curve from the bottom, color it in. And you've got yourself a leaf. Up, out, down. Another leaf. Add as many or as few leaves as you like. You are the artist. Now let's take our dark green and add another layer, starting at the sideways flower. And I'm not going to do the dark everywhere, just to make a few stems pop more than others. Right, maybe along the bottom. Thicken that up here by the stem or by the base of the flower. You know what I'm trying to say. And if you want to add just a few more bits of texture, go for it. It's up to you. You could have a leaf inside here too. No one said you couldn't, am I right? Yeah, what if I add another leaf down? Pretty good. My friends, all that's left to do is add a little bit of water. Now, if you don't want to add water, you don't have to. We're going to use the white. And I'm going to make not a straight line across, it's going to be a curve line across. Ready? See how gentle I'm going at first to make sure it's where I want it? You're gonna do one line this way, and then you're gonna go behind to make a little oval. But notice how I skipped over. I went around my stems. And now all you do, in a curvy motion, see how I move my whole hand? I'm going back and forth to add some water. You can even color that in a little bit too if you want. And I'm going to add a few more reflections. Time to smudge. Ooh, -hoo. and I'm going to stop at that line right there and then go over again. Add a few more darker spots so it really looks like a reflection. Feel free to smudge a bit more. And that, my friends, as they say, is that. Notice all these little fuzzies. You want to give those a flick or do what I did. Tap, tap, tap your paper. If you wipe it with your hand all the way across, you're gonna get a lot of smearing and that's not as fun. Now the only thing left to do is to add a background frame like I did here. All I did is cut out a piece of white paper that's a little bigger than my original piece. And then I added a fun frame from construction paper. And that's about it. You can do this technique with any kind of flower you want. Here's a lonely petal one. And while that one might be lonely, it sure does look vibrant on that beautiful black paper. I even used a different shaped vase here. So take some time to explore Try Googling single flower in glass vase and see the different types of flowers you can find. How will they look with oil pastel on the black background? Pretty classy if you ask me. That's all I have for you today. Enjoy these simple daisies in a glass vase.